This is Redneck, also known as Lord Destruction 123, here at Boeing Field for a tutorial update for how to start the engines on the 70 on the 787 Dreamliner. Um, the first tutorial I put up on YouTube, um, well, either way you start the engine, whether you do follow this tutorial or the other tutorial works fine, but really this tutorial is better because the one that I put up first. I later learned it is actually the wrong method and this is an update showing the correct method. So, first thing you want to do is go up to your electrical stuff and you're going to want to turn on, well okay, I'm having problems with my buttons locked. Let me just fix that a minute. What the crap? Come on. Okay, you turn on all this electrical stuff. In your APU generator, click the start switch. Click the um that knob once to start it. You'll hear that start spooling up. You want to check this panel, uh, glass cockpit display here. Now it says the APU is running, so you know the APU is running. You can go ahead and turn off the battery now, because you don't need it anymore. And you're going to move over here to the start ignition, the engine control panel. You just click those once, and then the engine start up. Once, get, once the EGT gets up to about 500, you can go ahead and shut off the APU. And I'm going to do that now. Or just toggle that button off. It still stays running because I haven't actually shut it off. I'm not sure shutting it off is really a good idea. And then your engines are started. Nothing wrong with if you don't, there's no problems with if you do it slowly that it doesn't work right or any of that. Um, this method will work every time. Um, so yeah. Then when you're ready to shut down again, just click that off. And then toggle that off. And then you can just turn off all your switches and lights and all that fun stuff. And that's how you start up your 787 and shut it down.